What was good? Guy K, welcome back to new tutorial. Today I'll be explaining how I did the floating fluid balls in started the Nintendo Switch advertisement. If you wanna grab the full project file, it's gonna be available on both Patreon um, and Payhip um, for tier three subs for barely anything. So just make sure to go and grab it if you want the full thing. I just recommend you go and watch the Blender Guru tutorial, um, the donut one, just so that you understand the basics of the software and the user interface in general. And then you can come back to this tutorial. So to begin with, we will delete the basic cube, default cube, add in a cube, scale it up a bit. We're gonna go into the, into the face select and select those faces. Hit on delete and then delete the faces. This way we're gonna be creating the drop, um, the studio drop thing in the background. So create, um, select the entire mesh and control B to bevel it. And then bevel it up just like this. And hit on right click and then shade smooth. Now we got a seamless background. Now we'll be creating the balls for the particle system. So go on mesh and create a UV sphere. Hit on shade smooth. I'll just subdivide the UV sphere so it's more um, smoother, I guess. And just duplicate this. Now we have two UV spheres. We're gonna be adding different materials to the UV spheres. So hit on U and just select any color. I'll just select red. Um, of course, you should go in either material preview or rendered um, to view the colors. You're not gonna be able to view it in solid or any other viewport. Let me view this paint. So I'll just do a quick material. So it's just a basic material with um, noise and color I'm plugged in. And the base color and then noise texture plugged in and the roughness. I'm not gonna plug anything into the normal. I'm just gonna keep it simple and clean just like this. And now you're gonna click on the other UV sphere and then just go click here and apply the material. You're gonna Duplicate the material and now you can change the color without affecting the first ball. So I'll just go with a different color um, for the sake of the tutorial. I'll just go with blue. So now we have two balls as you can see one is red and the other is blue. Now we're going to be applying those balls and adding them into the particle system. So what you're going to be doing is adding a cube, scale the cube up a bit. Place it onto the side of the scene, just like this, and then add in a particle system from here. And now, um, you don't have to follow me exactly, I'll uh, just plug in some random settings. I'm gonna decrease the number of particles to like 250, and then changing the physics type into points. And then over here you're gonna go onto the render as and then change it onto object and select instance object select the first sphere um for this i don't think you're gonna be able to instance two objects at the same time that's why we're gonna be making two different particle systems um to plug in both objects in now you're gonna click on viewport display and click on the show emitter i mean uncheck the box so that the cube disappears of course you can adjust the settings, you don't have to follow those in the settings. Um, and so now we have, as you can see, floating balls. Now what we're going to be doing is um, adding a uh, <coughs> adding a force field, a wind force field. So add a wind force field, position it as I do, you can rotate it a bit, scale it up. I don't think you'll have to scale it, I'll just scale mine. Um, and now you're going to go into the settings of the force field and increase the strength a bit maybe to like three so now if you check if you check it out um it affects the balls as you can see maybe just make it a bit stronger maybe like five um and yeah so basically that's it what we're going to be doing now is duplicating this you don't want to have too much particles um so maybe something like 50 i guess i don't know it depends on the scene that you're trying to make I'll just go into cycles, give everything the material, light everything up, and I'll be back. I just added an HRI, um, just for the sake of this tutorial. Of course, you can mess with it, um, and with the rotation and whatnot, to get the lighting that you want. So this is basically it for the tutorial. If you play it, you got the drop screen, and 
as you can see the particles um floating into the scene of course if you want you could add in depth the field so let's say um this cube is our object if you go into the camera as you can see and then go into the settings click on depth of field select the object in this case is a cube just drop down the f stop of course you don't have to follow the exact steps that i made um you just apply it onto the scene because every scene differs um that's it for the tutorial if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and sub um other than that stay safe i'll catch you in another tutorial peace out